I think that this morning we saw something that really interesting for the patient because usually when we talk nowadays, we're starting to talk about the de-escalation treatment. And this morning, uh, Professor Mattini uh, reported the, uh, the first interim analysis of the Europa trial for the uh, de-escalation of the adjuvant treatment in elderly patients, so patients uh, more than 70 years old. Yet, a luminal like patient, early breast cancer stage 1, could be administered only with uh, uh, adjuvant uh, radiation therapy or only adjuvant and docking treatment. Mm -hmm. This is uh, something that we need to address because we know that the adjuvant to the endocrine treatment is not uh, so, so simple because every day we saw patients that have uh, side effect for the um, aromatase inhibitor that we usually use for the postmenopausal patient. And you reported a really improvement in the quality of life of the patient that underwent only the radiation therapy. So a short period of treatment with, without great side effect and uh, improve really the quality of life. We still need longer follow-up to assess uh, the, also the efficacy of omitting the endocrine treatment in this type of patient. But of course, the first data are really um, reassuring. And uh, similar to this topic, also in this general session, um, performed the, also the analysis uh, of the uh, omitting the axillary dissection in the patient with uh, stage one and stage two, of course, the, the insema trial enrolled all the patient up to five centimeter, but we saw that the patient with uh, um, T2 tumor were only about 10%. So for the patient with uh, T1, uh, stage one uh, uh, disease, uh, we could avoid the axillary extension that could be a really um, problem impacting the quality of life for the lymphedema on the long term sequelae that could uh, um, decrease the quality of life for the patient. And this study really reassured us uh, to not perform the axillary extension when the patient didn't have a not a suspect not positivity to the imaging, so the ultrasound usually is the center of care to assess that. And if, if, even if the patient had a positive uh, sentinel leaf load biopsy, we could avoid the dick session with a um, superimposed uh, outcome of the patient. So this is something that we could uh, easily implement in our clinical practice to avoid the sequelae in our patients.